Now the snake was wiser than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Has God truly said that you may not take of the fruit of any tree in the garden? And the woman said, We may take of the fruit of the trees in the garden. But of the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden, God has said, If you take of it or put in your hands on it, death will come to you. And the snake said, Death will not certainly come to you. For God sees that on the day when you take of its fruit, your eyes will be open, and you'll be as gods, have knowledge of good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and a delight to the eyes, and to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruits and gave it to her husband. And their eyes were open, and they were conscious that they had no clothing, and they made themselves coats of leaves stitched together. And there came to them the sight of the Lord God walking the garden in the evening wind. And the man and his wife went to a secret place among the trees of the garden, away from the eyes of the Lord God. And the voice of the Lord God came to the man, saying, Where are you? And he said, Hearing your voice in the garden, I was full of fear, because I was without clothing, and I kept myself from your eyes. And he said, Who gave you the knowledge that you were without clothing? Have you taken of the fruit of the tree which I said you were not to take? And the man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me the fruit of the tree, and I took it. And the Lord God said to the woman, What have you done? And the woman said, I was tricked by the deceit of the snake, and I took it. And the Lord God said to the snake, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all cattle and every beast of the field. You go flat on the earth, and dust will be your food all the days of your life. And there will be war between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. By him will your head be crushed, and by you his food will be wounded. To the woman he said, Great will be your pain in the childbirth, and sorrow will your children come to birth. Still your desire will be for your husband, but he will be your master. And to Adam he said, Because you gave ear to the voice of your wife, and took of the fruit of the tree which I said you were not to take, the earth is cursed on your account. In pain you will get your food from it all your life. Horns and waste plants will come up, and the plants of the field will be your food. With the hard work of your hands, you will get your bread to go back to the earth from which you were taken. From dust you are, and to the dust you will go back. And the man gave his wife the name of Eve, because she was the mother of all who have life. And the Lord God made for Adam and for his wife coats of skins for their clothing. And the Lord God said, Now the man has become like one of us, having knowledge of good and evil. And now if he puts out his hands and takes of the fruit of the tree of life, he will go on living forever. So the Lord God sent him out of the garden of Eden to be a worker on the earth from which he was taken. So he sent the man out, and at the east of the garden of Eden he put winged ones and a flame sword turning every way to keep the way to the
the tree of life. 